dear friends in Jesus Christ today is the fifth sunday of lent gradually we are coming close to the end of the lent in other words we are gradually moving away from the zone of suffering to the zone of uh, glory hence all the readings of this sunday give us hope and paint a picture of a very bright future for us in the first reading god tells us of the new things he has started doing among us and for us he is restoring our hope and giving us every reason to continue living this means that in spite of the difficulties of this present moment and the season of this lent the lord will put a smile on our face soon surely he will do this because weeping may endure at night but joy comes in the morning in our second reading st paul tells us that he decided to count everything as a loss for the sake of christ this was in order to gain the future glory to be revealed in christ he understood the worth of the new life offered by god in christ in today's gospel the pharisees brought a adulterous woman to christ they thought that christ will condemn her immediately they thought he will give them the permission to go ahead and stone the woman to death however they were wrong because christ came to save and not to condemn they were wrong because the ways and thoughts of christ are different from theirs so instead of condemning her jesus restored her life and offered her a new chance to live he simply told her go and sin no more like this woman jesus says always giving us new opportunities in spite of our weaknesses he knows he knows how vulnerable we are to sin his mission is to save us from all of them and not to condemn us that is why he says i have come that they may have life and have it in full today we should be encouraged by these words of jesus neither do i condemn you the complete forgiveness of christ is incredible as we approach the glorious season of easter the lord equally says to us go and sin no more this is an injection we must believe and put into practice he promises us a better future and a share in his glory if we remain faithful to this command finally we must constantly run to jesus irrespective of our situation this is because he is ever ready to acquit us of all the charges against us so let us shout for joy what a marvelous the lord worked for us indeed we are glad let us bless the lord thanks be to god